what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we have something to talk about regarding screen 5 and melissa barrera nev campbell and courtney cox melissa barrera had an interview recently with the new york post where she talked about her excitement on set of screen 5 revealing that she shared scenes with courtney cox and nev campbell and presumably dewey riley or david arquette but she made a point to mention how she was kind of geeking out over being in scenes with courtney cox and david arquette not David Arquette, Nev Campbell, and kind of just geeking out of the fact that she was on a movie set with them, shooting scenes with them. So I just want to talk about what that probably has to do and what it implies for the character of Sam Carpenter, who we know will be portrayed by Melissa Barrera. I think this implies that she will have some sort of connection to Sidney Prescott, some sort of connection to Gail Weathers. Most likely is going to be Sidney Prescott, since Sidney is the one that will be passing the torch in this movie. We're all still under the assumption Jenna Ortega, or a lot of us are believing Jenna Ortega will be the one leading this film, but it could very well be Melissa Barrera. But in the New York Post, she stated that it was on the set of Scream 2. Uh, she would be doing a scene with Courtney or Nev, and when the directors would cut, she'd whisper to them, take a picture, take a picture. I would act all casual so they could get a shot of us. So basically, she was very excited to be on set with them. But the important thing here for, for me that I want to point out was the fact that she, of course, has scenes with Sidney Prescott and Gail Weathers. The character Sam Carpenter will be featured in scenes with these two characters. This would suggest to me there's some sort of connection between either all three, whereas it's either a connection between Sam and something related to Sidney and Gail is just there by association because, again, we're all expecting not all of us. But my assumption is Dewey Riley's death will be the thing that sparks Sydney to return to her hometown. And then from there, she'll, of course, come in contact with Sam Carpenter, who will return to her hometown after things regarding her younger sister, played by Jenna Ortega, uh, Tara Carpenter, after things happen with her. And then they'll all become intertwined together. We'll learn some things about them related to what probably happened back in the original Scream or during the events of the original Scream. It's just safe to assume those things. It's just I personally think that her scenes with Sydney and Gail Weathers will be related to her having some sort of connection to past events of this franchise since we're trying to go in a different route where we're kind of taking the attention away from the Prescott dynamic and all these things regarding the Prescott family and the Roberts family and things regarding Maureen and her life and how she kind of brought us to where we are today how we had her actions going to Hollywood and the unfortunate things from other disgusting people in Hollywood that led her to doing the things she did in her life after she left Hollywood. While we're trying to leave behind that stuff and bridge into the future, we have to weave in certain things that would make this future tied to the past. Because that's usually what happens when they're trying to pass the torch these days with a lot of these franchises that are doing this. When they're trying to pass the torch, there's always a connection we have in Halloween kills. We have three generations of stroke women. We have Lori. We have her daughter, Karen. And then we have a granddaughter, Allison. Allison being the youngest. Allison is going to be the one carrying that I'm expecting to carry that mantle come the end of Halloween ends. By the time this all is done, I'm expecting Allison Stroh to be the one carrying that mantle. So going back to what I'm trying to make sense of is there's a connection there she is the granddaughter of Lori Strode I'm not saying that Sam Carpenter is going to be related to Sidney Prescott but there's possibly someone in this universe that Sidney Prescott knows that Sam will be related to that would be making her fill out all the all the boxes you're checking to have the torch passed to her because you have to have some sort of connection and ties to Sidney Sydney most likely will have some sort of role in the film where she's kind of just there to protect Sam and, prote and to protect Tara and figure out what's going on in Woodsboro this time and try to help understand who killed her friend since it won't have much to do with her but she's been in these girls situations before and she also will want to find out what happened to Dewey assuming again Dewey's death is what brings 
her return to Woodsboro. She'll be a mentor of sorts to them. She'll be like a Laurie Strode character. But Melissa Barrera's comments, they just are reinforcing things that I'm already convinced. She will have some sort of connection, if not to Sydney, someone in Sydney's life that will then spark Sydney to want to keep this girl safe. And then in extension of that, keeping this girl's younger sister safe, Tara Carpenter. Jenna Ortega, I I know we all are convinced, not all of us again, but most of us, some of us are convinced she will be the lead in this film. She may in fact end up being the lead, but the main meat and potatoes of what's going on, I think is gonna come from the past of Sam Carpenter. Because keep in mind, the description that we had coming out when we were finding out the names of these characters, Sam left town and she was a little bit of a bad girl. It was described she was on some type of drugs, apparently, for something she had happened in her in her teenage years. Something sparked her to leave her town because she's going to be returning to her hometown to investigate a series of vicious crimes. That was one of the early synopsis that we got. And now we're all associating this with Sam Carpenter since we know we've already seen shots of her returning to Woodsboro with uh, Jack Jack Quaid's character Richie driving driving the vehicle into town and she's in the in the car with him since they're going to be a boyfriend girlfriend dynamic in the film. So something related to Sydney is what prompted her to leave town and that that relation is what's going to be the driving force of what's going on in the events of Scream 5. I'm just more convinced about it now even more so given that we know that Sam will have scenes with not only Sydney but Gail Weathers. Uh, I think this was already confirmed in the past, too. I think she made similar comments to this, but I just want to share my thoughts on what this means narratively and what we can expect to see. Because if you're passing the torch, you're going to have to pass the torch with some type of connection to the person who previously held the torch. But let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. Are you excited to see these two or see these three ladies interact with each other? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.